Yo guys, how's it going? Madcast here, back again, and we're back in our tutorial series showing you how to do the simple and basic things inside of Black Ops 3 mod tools. So last time I showed you how to build up the walls and add in a simple light like so and we are still here in our little brick building granted it doesn't look like much but by now guys I'm sure you've added in extra rooms new walls and corridors and stuff to make your map look awesome but the way you want to light that up you need some nice sexy lights to make that thing look much better so what I'm going to show you in the today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some lovely lights into your map to make them look as realistically as they can and to add in a mystery box spawn location because the one that comes with the actual tutorial map is simply just a clip model with some breeze blocks and a bit bored over it. It is not actually a working magic box. So let's get started on this. First things first, I'm going to show you how to build the magic box spawn. So what you want to do is bring up your web browser and go to the website I've shown you now. I will stick a link to this in the description down below. And what you want to do is click on this one here, which says box start dot map. And what that's going to do is it's going to download the box start location for your map as a prefab. You can download box one, two or three as well. And that gives you extra places where your box will spawn when you start up your map. So once you've downloaded that, simply take it into your prefab folder. So if you've got something similar to this, Steam apps, common, Black Ops 3, map source, prefabs, and into the ZM folder. So you go back, you'll see you've got all your maps and stuff, all your different things. Mine might look a little bit different to yours, guys, but all you're doing is sticking it into your map source in the prefabs, into the ZM folder if you want to, and paste it into here. You see I've got mine box start into there. And that's all you need to do for that part of downloading the box start. So once you've done that, simply go into your Radiant file, and you want to click on the top right, somewhere over here, right click and go all the way down to prefab browser. Now you see there we have lots of different prefabs and stuff, lots of things. You also look different to mine because I've been working on this in the alpha test, so I've got some different things as well. So what I want to do is click reload so it will actually load in that new box start that you actually just put into the map and click on ZM. It was underneath the ZM giant, which we saw on our folder. And we see there we have box underscore start dot map. And all you want to do is left click on that and drag it over into your map location you want it to be placed. And you see there, we now have what looks like a big red block and another table place for where the box would spawn. Now, we don't want it just to be sitting perfectly straight bang in the middle of the room. So using the rotation keys, you can either press R on your keyboard, which turns the X, Y and Z toggles into rotation ones or you can simply use these tools at the top x y and z with the arrow the right angle arrow and we want to rotate it on the z axis so we're just going to rotate it once boom and that should rotate it fine now we see the arrow white arrow here which is pointing off that shows you the face and direction of which the box is looking so we know that the box is facing that way when we want to use it so now all we want to do now is just drag this back you can go into your side view on your view thing here you can go to the top down view you can now close down the prefab browser window because you don't need that and we can simply click on this and drag this back to let's see we put it to the wall just there like that and that is it that is our box spawn location the only thing now is to make this a little bit more realistic you want to add some sort of clip around that so you cannot run through it because all models all prefabs you can pretty much just run straight through them all so the best thing to do now is in this top down view you want to go into the texture browser on here and type in clip. If you type in clip, it should bring up lots of different clips. And we're going to scroll down until you find this one here, which is just called clip tool blend. And simply double click that so you've got it activated. And in the right hand view, just simply draw a simple box around your mystery box spawn location. And then simply just in this view, if you really want, drag it up like that. So we know that you cannot access that area. Kind of similar to what Treyarch was trying to do when they put ours into the tutorial map. Now, what you might need to do is as well, is just zoom in with the scroll button on your mouse and just drag it back a little bit. So a little bit of that red box, once you click off there by pressing escape, you will now be able to access that when you go to it. But you'll not be able to climb over the box. You'll not be able to run through it. Zombies will not be able to pass through it. And that is pretty much it. So now we've done the box. The box is ready to be tested. We can use that. But let's go on to create a nice light. So we need some nice lights because this map looks a bit gloomy, just a brick box. So let's go on to create some nice lights. So what I like to do is I use a collection of lights to give us the feel that a light is actually turned on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it over the top of this zombie spawn right here. So what I'm going to do is right click 
on the, to the top menu here and go down to models. And in models, all you want to do is simply type in light. Now, ooh, spell it correctly as well if you want. And we go scroll all the way down. The zombie ones seem to have a lot more. So if you really want to, you can type in light ZM. And that will bring in all the zombie type lights. Now, the ones that a lot of people seem to use is this one here. We can use a zombie wall mount. So click and drag that with your left mouse. That puts that onto the wall right there. See, it's stuck to the side of the wall. So what you do again is with the Z buttons up the top here for rotation, you click to rotate it to make sure it's right. It's slightly clipped through the wall. So we use this X one here to bring it out like so. And that is pretty much where we want that there. We'll just center that up a bit. You also can use your view windows as well to get it dead center of the window. So that's that part of the light. Now we need a lampshade. So we have this one here, which is the standard zombie lampshade. And we just click and drag that one into the map there. Now that's cut through the wall. Once again, you can just zoom in and line these up lovely and perfectly like so, just like that. Anything like that will do. And then just drag him up to around about there. If you change the grid size on here as well, it makes it a lot easier for manipulating different certain things. So you can get a bang on center like that. And that is that. That is our light. It is in our fitting. We have a light now, but we need to light this thing. So what I'm going to do is stick in another light. So bring up your entity browser. If you do not have this open already, right click on there and go to entity browser. I've got mine open already and simply type in light and you should see unsorted box should have some lights in it. So you want this first one here, unsorted, not the build, not the light grid sky, and simply drag in a light into the map like so. Now that light looks massive. So we can center that off to the center of our view window on this one here. And if we press F9 on our keyboard and F8, you'll see that that light looks really bad. It does not look good at all in by any means of any kind of light standard. So come out of that, press F8 and F9 to oh, press F7, sorry, along the F keys. And we now need to modify this light to make it work. So with the light selected like that, press N on your keyboard to bring up the light properties. Now I'm going to put this back into F8 mode so we can see the light as it is because we need to see how bright it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is decrease the size of the light. So scroll down till you find radius. Now we want to put this around about 10. Change that from 100 to 10. Now you notice the light changed and simply all you want to do is drag this up into the light like so. And when you scroll around, you can see now that that entire light shade there has lit up as if it has got a light inside of it. Now, it has not touched on the rim, so we can just simply go in and add an extra point under that. So there we go, and we just drag it down so it's not cutting through the top, like so. And click off that with the escape key. Or if you want to change the color, we can simply go click on color at the top, scroll down, pick a nice color. I'm going to do a nice warm yellow type color, orangey thing like that. And there we go. That is that light part done. Now it does look a bit bright, so I'm going to click on it back again, holding shift and clicking left click on the mouse and reducing the stops down to about eight on this. Ah, there we go. A nice softer light. You can now see inside it a little bit better and it doesn't look too grim and bloody way too bright. So now we go back to our game mode view. Now we have the light. The light looks like it's now turned on, but we don't have any light cascading from its actual light source. So what we're going to do again, take it out of game mode by pressing F9 on your keyboard and drag in another light once again underneath where that one is. So in the view win window again, you can just drag this light so it's bang center to where that one was. And now what we want to do is drag that down a touch and we're going to turn this light with it highlighted. Press N on your keyboard again to get your entity window up. And down here where it says primary type, we're going to say primary click on there and spotlight. And we see now it is a spotlight type of light. It's squared. So what we're going to do to fix this, scroll down to get halfway down and we see roundness and just ramp the roundness up to 100. Now that looks cool, but it doesn't look like it's actually coming from the light itself. So simply grab the blue handle up here and just drag that all the way up until you can see the light is slowly popping through. There we go. And now we have some sort of work in light, but it does not reach the floor. So this is where these like block toggles at the end of the X and Y axis bars are. So the red one, if you hold in, the best way to do this is hold in shift and click on that. Oh, no, it doesn't. Pardon me. The best way to do it, if you do what I just did, is simply just click on that and drag. That brings the light up and down on the red side so you can make it a little bit wider. If you go around this side, the red will also bring in the internal part of the light. So we see, so it makes it a nice softer fade, just like that. 
we can now go to the right hand side and the green turns the brightness of the light up so we're going to turn the brightness down a little bit and grab the other right hand angle just like that just to bring everything back in obviously you would tweak with these when you got a little bit more time but this is just a quick demonstration and now to drag it to the floor it's either one of the blue ones or it's not that one so it's this one here drag it down to the floor like so and now we have a light that is cascaded from the window from the window from the light shade down onto the floor now it does look a bit rough tight edge there it's like literally just the light just popped in so what i like to do is scroll down and change the far off edge so if we change the far off edge it gives it a nice sort of softer feel and bring the fall off distance back in and then we go we've got that change the color we need the color now to match the same as what we had for the bulb so if you click your color it should have saved it from the previous one yep select that and boom we have a nice looking light and it looks really really good inside this map so we've hit that into game mode view we can see now we have a light that is shining down over that zombie spawn area we have our mystery box right there and that's pretty much it for how to make some really nice looking lights i will show you next time how to add in a fog sky box as well in fact maybe we can do that right now if we can be quick about this so you've got fog lit fog yep so all you want to do now is you want to add in a fog box so we can get some nice volumetric lighting on here this is just a side extra so we can click down here in the entity box and go to lit fog drag that into here and you'll see a box has popped in just there and what we're going to do is drag this around our map like so just like that and in the side view once again drag it up to fill in the areas of our map with the entity selected on this fog box like we had before you can go into the the banks on this one and change it to look cool so we're going to go for animal testing oh no so we will go dogs volumetric we'll make it dogs volumetric so now we've got a slight bit fog on our map and now this should enable us to change these lights to give them a volumetric kind of light effect so once again i'm going to press f9 to come out of this one so we can actually select this light with the light selected scroll down into your entity box and we are going to select volumetric and you see there we have a nice volumetric light increase the intensity boost the volumetric light if you really want to we're going to put that there 2.5 come out of that press f9 once again and you see we have this lovely lovely cascading light effect coming from that light it does look like it's coming through the top of the light but that's just a fog effect which looks cool so there we go we have a really really nice looking light we put the mystery box into the map and we've added in a fog box to our map as well something extra for you guys now let's just test this out in game so before you do that always press on the lightning bolt to build your lights and once that is done we now build our lights for the map there wasn't much to build so it doesn't take long go back down notice beforehand you want to go up with file save this map down to your launcher with your tutorial map saved we're going to link light and compile as per usual untick run click build let this build and then we can test it and now we're in our map we can test things out and see how they look we have the perk machines we still don't have lights but we'll work on that in another time we have our light that we added in and it look gotta admit it looks pretty cool it really really does i didn't put a shadow on this just to show you guys exactly how it looks now you can see those zombies coming in just eat your flesh and we have the mystery box which will spawn obviously the clip makes it so we can't cut through it we can't jump over it let's get some points let's see if this thing works right we've got some points let's test out our mystery box see if it works yep the lid's opening what are we gonna get we got the rear gun oh yeah we got the ray gun and obviously what i didn't forgot to mention is we got a zombie spawner outside this map yesterday in the map so the zombie will die and he will respawn in the end you'll be able to complete the round but yeah that is it for this tutorial today guys hope you did enjoy it. making some sexy looking lights with some lovely volumetric fog coming off them and adding in a mystery box to your map hope these tutorials are giving you a lot you need to get started making your own maps and hopefully they are helping you guys out a lot because it really really is awesome doing these for you and if you do go on to like this please hit that like button comment down below what you'd like to see in tomorrow's episode for my tutorial guides and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma